Hi guys, this is King Tiger doing another video. Um, I like to start off by saying that um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on, finished uh, sixth form, got a job, a few problems in my personal life, uh, but I'm getting back into things now. Um, I finished uh, the bow action project. I haven't recorded anything, now I don't think I will. Uh, but my Russians are all done for bar action, all my Flames of War stuff's done, American Civil War, everything's done. Um, so I've started something new, I guess. I've started a game called War Machine that's um, a fast-paced sort of skirmish game uh, where you're in command of uh, like steam-powered robots or things along those lines. Uh, it can also be played alongside a game called Hordes that's a fantasy version. Uh, you have a leader, which in War Machine is called a Warcaster. Um, they control the steam-powered robots. Uh, in my case, I've gone with Convergence of Cirrus. that have uh, clockwork robots that are like Art deco -y design. Uh, if that's the right one I'm thinking of, that is. Um, this is the starter box. The, the bases aren't quite finished, but I'm getting there. So, I'll start at the back here. This is a light jack, or a light vector in this case. Uh, jack is uh, the word used for the robots. Um, I've tended some glow effects on these. This one's the, the galvanizer that's got this uh, nasty little saw blade. Um, I've tended glow effects that uh, work better on some than others. So I'm just figuring out how to do it with a brush instead of a airbrush. I've gone with the, the box. Um, paint scheme because um, I just thought it looked cool but I've done a lot of rust to them because someone else at my local club where this this game has really picked up at my local club um, and the love guy places have gone with the same colour scheme but with green glow effects um, and he's painted his with pristine so I decided to go the opposite way and paint mine really dirty and they're not as shiny as his and things like that. So yeah, this is the galvanizer, uh, light jack. Down here we have the mitigator. That's another light jack. Um, instead of having the saw blade, he actually has a gun that fires saw blades and it knocks down the opponent. So uh, you get free attacks. And then you don't have to roll to hit, you just go straight to rolling for damage which is really useful, but I haven't really figured out how to use him properly. I've sort of used him, but I need to figure out more combat effectiveness of him. Uh, so he's essentially the same figure, but uh, with different arms and head. I'll leave my caster to last. Uh, here we have uh, the Cypher, that's uh, Heavy Jack. And he has these two big piston arms that are power and strength 18. Which, if you're not sure how the game works, it, that's quite a powerful weapon. So to figure out um, how much damage you do, everything's either on is on two dice. So um, unless you use what's called focus to boost it, uh, it gives you a third dice. You can't go any more than three dice. So this is how you figure out damage. Say I've already hit. Um, and this weapon does a power and strength of has a power of strength of 18, and let's say the um, enemy's armor is 12. So to roll for damage, say I've got two dice, because that's how many get for attack, and I haven't boosted it with a focus, so it's just two dice. And you roll that, and you minus their armor from your power and strength. If they've got a higher armor, um, it then your power and strength, you minus what you minus however whatever the difference is from your dice, and if your power and strength is above their armor, you plus damage. So say if this guy's attacking someone with an armor of twelve, I'd roll a dice and I would add um six. So it's dice plus six, because I've got power and strength of eighteen, armor twelve. And whatever I get with my dice plus six, it's the damage I do. I didn't explain that very well. Uh, <laughs> But that's pretty much how it works. So I've... The glow effects look better on this guy, especially these ones here. And he has this uh, mortar that can um, blind people and things like that. And for the rust effects, if you're wondering how I did them, 
I used a sponge and uh, I sponged on Panzer Aces Dark Rust for the darker bits and Panzer Aces Yellowish Rust for the lighter bits. And I used brass for the brass bits and gunmetal, I think I used. Yeah. So that's the Heavy Jack. I'm not very good with this guy's name, but it's a Forge Master Setheron. And he essentially he's a floaty guy, so so that on his base. Uh, these lines are to determine his arc of fire. Doesn't got effects on him. And his his weapon's called the Workshop Array, which is just all these tools. Uh, he's a very good caster. Um, well, the leader, the leader of my army, but I'm not really a big fan of how he plays. I'm more of a uh, offensive player where he's more of a defensive character so I then went ahead and picked up a second caster all of these are uh, rustic or plastic resin uh, so you still need your super glue but I went and got uh, a metal caster for my army which is this girl here uh, her name is Aurora well, the character's name is Aurora and she is the only human in the army that actually has any sort of skin. <laughs> All the others are like human spirits put inside machines. But she was a uh, she was actually quite easy to build. Like uh, her wings uh, actually um, glue onto the backpack. I'm not sure if you can see the join there, but um, yeah, she actually went together quite well. She hasn't formed a part yet, so that's a good sign. So, yeah. This is the cast I went with. She's re really cool. She's really powerful as well. She's really good at um, killing other people's casters. So if I went with her, she's even more powerful if you give her these. These are essentially in the story her personal bodyguard. These come in a blister pack of three, and they're called Clockwork Angels. So you get two grunts and a leader. And these girls are quite cool. So they get a special ability where they can all attack the same. They can combine all their attacks to do a more powerful attack. Um, and also, if they're in the same melee combat as Aurora, you get a... Um, plus two to hit, which is quite useful, like especially against tougher characters. Um, so There's only one more thing I added to the force, which are these little floaty guys. Um, I forgot the name of these, something servitors. And essentially, you get three of them in a blister. I think they were about six pound. Um, if they're in base to base with, say, my heavy jack, they uh, automatically, at the beginning of every turn, each one can heal one damage on him on any part I want. So if he gets quite badly dinged up, they can fly along and uh, heal him. I also added a bit of blood to the piston spikes using uh, blood for the blood god from Games Workshop. So yeah, that's my War Machine Force. It will be growing very soon because <laughs> we're playing a Journeyman's League. Um, so essentially that means you um, start off with the base box set, which was the one set on table to begin with, and then you build up slowly over time. Um... And uh, this isn't enough to... We're on week five of the league. Um, so, yeah. This is about 20 points. Um, and this week we're going up to 25. So I'm going to need to get some more units. Uh, 25 points doesn't sound a lot for my nose to play Flames of War. But 25 is still quite a big force for War Machine. 
So yeah, that's my War Machine Force. That's what I've been working on recently. I've also been doing a little bit of work on my Malifaux. So this is Taylor from the Hired Swords box set. And I also painted up one of the Ronin from the box set, if my camera will focus. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. So she's quite cool. <coughs> so that's pretty much all I've been working on, um, apart from my war, uh, bow action. So, um, I, that's going to be it for now. Um, I'll probably update you when I get my new war machine stuff. That should be sometime next week. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry it was quite long and I rambled a bit. I'm a bit out of the whack, bit out of whack making the videos. Um, but I should be getting back into it and getting some content out for you guys. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.